we shall now add the database for our project. We shall add the entity framework classes also. So let us have a look at our database structure and the various tables that we'll be using in our project. To our solution explorer, we have added a database called dborders.sdf. We are using SQL Server Compact database. We could have used SQL Server also. It is a matter of connection string only. Since SDF will simplify and ease our things, we have preferred this one. Let us have a look at the various tables that are included in the database. This is the database. There is a table for orders or invoices and a table for TBL products that stores a list of products that are available for sale and uh, TBL users is the collection is the table for the customers in this project. Let us start by having a look at TBL products. TBL products has two columns product code and product name and uh, the structure is like this product code is ncare1 it's the primary key product name is nvarecare its length is 100 and it is not the primary key but it stores the data product name and what is the sample data that we have included is product code is S, product name is software, product code is M, product name is mobile, product code is L, product name is laptop. So this company is selling uh, products of only three types and when an invoice is generated the product type is product code is one of the foreign keys into TBL orders. Let us also have a look at the TBL users. TBL users has four columns. One is auto numbered primary key. It will auto increment identity column the customer email, customer name and customer phone just normal data columns used for storing information about a customer. We can have a look at the structure of this table. So in case you are following this lecture you can use this information to create your own database. Customer email and where care 50 customer name and where care 100 customer phone and where care 15 id auto primary key and if you look here it is an identity column increment is 1 and seed is 1 so as new records are added it will automatically increment primary key yes id auto pk is the primary key and uh, this table is not optimized, it's just for training purposes. It is not optimized. For example, customer email or customer phone, this could be a little bit shorter also or longer also depending on the needs. Now I'll show you the data that we have already included. Customer email, customer name, customer phone, ID auto primary key, some sample data has already been included here. You can also include this. Then we will come to table TBL orders. In this table we are having uh, one is again ID auto primary key. 